Once upon a time, there was a woman, and she had a daughter, whom she wanted very much to marry a rich nobleman. One day, she was sitting on the doorstep with her spinning wheel, and singing, My daughter has spun five skeins today. My daughter has spun five skeins today. My daughter has spun five skeins today. Now the king of that country happened to be coming down the street. He stopped his horse and asked, What is that you are singing, my good woman? So the mother sang, My daughter has spun five skeins today. My daughter has spun five skeins today. My daughter has spun five skeins today. Five skeins, cried the king. I'll marry your daughter. Only, mind you, in the twelfth month of our marriage, she must spin five skeins a day. And if she doesn't, she will be sent away. Come, is it a bargain? So the mother agreed. So they were married. And for eleven months, the queen was as happy as happy could be. She had everything she liked to eat and everything her heart desired. But on the first day of the twelfth month, the king, her husband, led her into a room she had never seen before. It had one window and there was nothing in it but a stool and a spinning wheel. You will be shut in here and if by this evening you have not spun five skeins, you will be sent away. Well, she was fair afraid, for she had always been such a thoughtless girl that she had never learned to spin at all. So she just sat down on a stool and cried and cried and cried until her pretty eyes were all red. Now, as she sat sobbing and crying, she heard a queer little noise at the window. So she upped and opened the window. And what did she see? Why, a small black thing with a long tail. What are you crying for? asked the thing. She told the thing all about the skeins and everything from beginning to end. If that is all, it's easily mended, it says. I'll come to your window every morning, take the flax and bring it back, spun into five skeins at night. Come, shall it be a bargain? Now she said cautiously, but what is your price? Then the thing twirled its tail and stuck out its beautiful toes and smirked. I will give you three guesses every night to guess my name. And if you haven't guessed it, before the month is up, you shall be mine, my beauty. She felt sure she would be able to guess, so she just said, Yes, I agree. So she gave the thing the flags and shut the window. And when evening came, she heard that queer knocking at the window again. She upped and opened it. And there was the small black thing with five skeins on his arm. Then the thing said, And now, my beauty, what is my name? It's Bill. No, it isn't, said the thing. Then it's Ned. No, it isn't. Well, it's Mark. No, it isn't, said the thing, and laughed and laughed and laughed and twirled its tail as it jumped out of the window. The king, her husband, was pleased to see the five skeins all ready for him. But the next morning, he brought her fresh flax. And the small black thing came knocking at the window and took away the bundle of flax and brought it back all spun into five skeins by evening. Then the thing made her guess three times what its name was. It's Nicholas. No, it isn't, said the thing. Then it's... Theodore. No, it isn't. Well, it's John. No, it isn't, said the thing, and laughed again, and disappeared out of the window. Now, every morning,
morning and evening the same thing happened. And every evening she had her three guesses. But she never guessed right. <laughs> so it came to the last day of the month but one. Her husband, the king, was very pleased to see five skeins. He said, Well done, wife. I shall not have to send you away after all, my dear. Then he began to laugh and laughed so long and so loud that at last the poor queen said, Why are you laughing? At something I saw today, my love, says the king. I was out, hunting in the wood. And what do you think I saw there? The funniest, queerest, smallest black thing you have ever set eyes upon. And its little feet had buckled shoes and bows on them. And all the time that small black thing kept humming and shouting out these words. Name me, name me not, who will guess it's Tom Tit Tot? Well, when she heard these words, the queen nearly jumped out of her skin for joy. But she managed to say nothing. And she didn't say a word when next morning the thing came for the flax. And then night came. Well, my beauty, what's my name? Is it Solomon? No, it isn't, laughed the thing. Well, is it Zebedee? She said. No, it isn't, cried the small black thing. Take your time, my beauty. Remember, next guess, and you are mine. <laughs> well, she laughed out and pointed her finger at it and said, Name me, name me not, your name is Tom Tit Tot. And you never heard such a shriek as that small black thing let out. Its tail dropped straight down, its feet all crumpled up, and away the thing flew into the darkness. And she never saw it again. And she lived happily ever after with her husband, the king.